As Flag Day approaches on June 14th, St. John's County celebrating rescuing over 11,000 American flags through its American Flag Rescue Program. Oh. Uh, the initiative was launched in 2019. It provides residents with over 30 drop-off locations uh, to properly retire flags. That's nice. With honor and respect. Yeah. So, yeah, these are not wild flags. You know, these are not feral flags that we're rescuing. Well, they look ragged, kind of though, right? Like Aren't they the damaged title. or something from wind damage? Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes they're a little, uh, you know, torn up. Sometimes they're Tattered. just a little dirty over time of just being yeah, outside. Yeah, I'd have a heavy heart to throw that out. I wouldn't be able to throw that out. So this yeah. is a nice thing. Yeah. Okay. This is good flag retirement. Uh, reached a milestone in February 2024 when the 10,000th flag was collected at the St. John's County Tax Collector's Office. Very interesting that they're actually keeping track of every single flag. Mm -hmm. Almost hard to believe. Uh, to commemorate this, a special video featuring tax collector Dennis Hollingsworth was produced. Uh, Christopher Benjamin, the county's recycling coordinator, founded the program after discovering discarded flags in the county landfill. Uh. He emphasized the community's positive response, noting that over 11,000 flags have been collected to date. VFW Post 2391 in St. Augustine handles the official uh, decommissioning ceremonies of the flags, and seven retired veterans maintain the collection sites. Benjamin expressed pride in ensuring the Star Spangled Banner has a respectful resting place here in St. John's County. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is great. A lot of, I know we used to collect flags at the WFOY, the radio station. Mm -hmm. We used to have a flag drop off out there. Oh, that's uh, the cool. VFW um, is where I've been taking it for decades. Down yeah. There, uh, where they have the tank down there on uh, US. Yeah. yeah. So they, they have a flag drop off there, and that's where I've always taken, taken my flags to. Okay. So I've always wanted to ride in that tank. Yeah. yeah. A little joy ride. You can make it happen, Troy, right? Um, I don't think it cranks up anymore. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh. I've asked. <laughs> okay. You tried. Troy <laughs> has already tried to do that. Already tried. That does not surprise me at all. Uh, all right, cool. Yeah, that's a great service. Yeah, that is. And, a and cool I'm glad service. that people are are decommissioning them officially yeah. in an official way. Very cool. So flag day, it's coming up. It's right around the corner, huh? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Cool, man. All right. Now I was going to save this for the comments, but uh, yesterday, uh, flags were at half mass. Someone actually put that out there. Uh, flags were at half, half mass for uh, the Pride. Uh, shooting it was the anniversary of it oh, yesterday okay. so that's why flags were at half mass yesterday so okay. somebody somebody asked that yeah um let's see we have got uh the battle of bloody mosaic coming up 